MetaGrid Pro 1.1 brings two elegant and useful preset grids for Studio One, called Project and Media Editor. Both grids feature the Shift button with the MetaGrid Pro logo. When you tap it, some buttons change their state and give you access to additional functions. Selecting an additional function will automatically turn off the Shift button. Let's have a look at the Studio One Project Grid and start from the Browser section. It enables you to quickly add an insert or an instrument to the selected track. There are some stock Studio One plugins predefined like ProEQ, Compressor or Limiter. To add a plugin to a selected track, just press this button to show the effects pane in the browser, select the plugin and tap the plus icon. Or to add the Impact Instrument, for example, show Instruments in the Browser section, find the Impact Instrument and press Insert Selected Instrument. That's really fast and handy. This way you can add any plugin to your track. Just customize macros by changing the text in the text section. Let's say I want to add an UAD compressor. I modify the text in the text section Populate the name by tapping the arrow key next to the text field and voila! Now I can easily and quickly add the UAD1176 compressor to any track. The grid gives you access to frequently used commands grouped in the zoom. Locate. Selection and split sections. You can easily show in high editors, console and other user interface items. Then we've got the marker section for creating markers and navigate between them. With a shift mode enabled, this section enables you to switch between the visibility scenes. Then there is the playback section, channel section, and transport section. You can easily apply fades to your clips, control track layers, and quickly add tracks and channels to your project. Now, let's switch to the media editor grid. It gives you access to the internal Studio One macros for media editing. You can easily set the velocity for the selected notes, There are extensive quantization options for quantizing notes and start and end of notes. You can easily switch the grid quantization and set the note length including the legato options. There is the transpose section that enables you to transpose the pitch by its respective intervals. Double the notes. Select the notes, mirror them, distribute and fill. There is also the Sound Variation section that enables you to switch between note articulation in Studio One and some frequently used MIDI editor actions. What's great about MetaGrid Pro is that the grids are fully customizable. You can easily modify and change the appearance of any button. There are dedicated icons for Studio One and hundreds of other graphics including notation glyphs, dot-related icons and much, much more. MetaGrid Pro gives you access to nearly all Studio One commands direct on your iPad without any keyboard shortcuts or media assignments. You can easily modify any macro on the grid or create your own multi-step sequences of actions. The grids can be imported from the Content Manager in MetaGrid Pro. First, you need to create a profile of Studio One. Switch to Studio One on your computer and then in the Content Manager in MetaGrid Pro, tap the plus icon in the Profile section and tap Studio One. MetaGrid Pro will create a default workspace and grid for Studio One. MetaGrid Pro will activate the profile each time you switch to Studio One on your computer. To add the grids, in the Content Manager, 
tap the Share icon and select Import from Presets and select the respective grid to import it to the Studio One workspace you have just created. Close the Content Manager and tap Edit on the sidebar. Tap the primary grid area and select the grid you've just imported. You can select an icon for the grid and name it Project or Media Editor, depending on the grid you have just added. Close the Edit mode and here is our grid, ready to be used. You can also add a second scene and assign the second Studio One grid. You need to add control surface files to Studio One. Download the app-specific resources from our website and copy the files in the Studio One folder to the folder with the Studio One control surface files on your hard drive. For the detailed instructions, see the MIDI and DAW setup guide available through the settings in Metagrid Pro. That's all. Now you can use the grids and customize them to your liking to save time and streamline your creative process with Studio One. Enjoy Metagrid Pro. Music